Black waiter serves poor little boy for two years. One day he left him $70,000 tip and a note saying, Kazen Hunter 8 has a daily ritual that involves eating breakfast at his neighborhood Waffle House in Little Rock, Arkansas, sometimes with his grandfather and other times with his parents and siblings. With these journeys comes his lunch, which is delivered by Devante Gardner, his preferred server. They first met around a year ago. My father began going, and Kazen would accompany him. When he got home, he chatted about Devante and how much he liked him, according to Kazen's mother, Victoria Hunter, who is also revealing that the family typically has breakfast together on the weekends. Gardner feels the same way about him, because that's what he anticipates. I always give him a high five when he enters, Gardner tells Today.com. Kazen typically orders scrambled eggs with cheese, no bread, hash browns with cheese on top, and an Arnold Palmer. Gardner has remembered Kazen's normal order. He's a great child. Every time he enters, he tells me a joke, saying things like, Hey, Devante, I got a joke for you. And before you know it, we're both laughing. Hunter claims that over time, the family learned more about Gardner, his wife Aisa, and their two kids, Amura, two, and Jade, three years old. As Hunter continues... We realized Devante is just really a light in the world as we started to travel more and more, and we met him. We eventually began to always sit in his section, she continues. He always has a smile on his face and asks, Hello, Kazen, how are you? Kazen discovered one day that Gardner was in a terrible condition because the family's previous residence was full of problems and he didn't have a car to get to work. We went into a low-income neighborhood because we needed to locate something reasonably priced, explains Gardner. We simply grew weary of insect, rat, and black mold problems. My daughters had been feeling ill, lack of heat, and similar issues. We had to hunker down with four or five blankets when it was freezing outside in order to stay warm. Gardner says that was simply awful and adds that for the past eight months, he and his family have been residing in a motel. Knowing this, Kazen made the decision to assist his friend. Devante walks or gets a ride to work, and I'm going to start a GoFundMe, he informed me when he got home, says Hunter, adding that Kazen had pleaded with her for some time before he finally gave in. Oh, all right, that's pretty sweet, I thought. It's a wise move. The original plan was to gather enough cash to purchase a car for the Waffle House employee. Gardner informed the family that he was seeking one, but the arrangements had to be postponed because of his housing predicament. Because the motel is so pricey, Hunter says it really cost him. Kazen hoped to raise $500 for Gardner with the aid of his mother. They published the GoFundMe with the subject Help Devante Get a Family Automobile on February 18. The GoFundMe page's description begins, Hello, my name is Kazen and I'm 8 years old. Devante is a dedicated father of two little girls who also has a wife. He commutes to work every day on foot or by ride, a committed worker. The Hunter family wishes to place Gardner's family in a tidy rental home, Kazen continues, adding that Gardner was seeking for a reasonably priced car. Devante is among the happiest and most upbeat people you've ever met. He always extends the widest smile when he welcomes us, noted Kazen. I'm hoping your heart is as big as mine and that you'll join me in trying to make the world a better place. Every little bit helps. Although the hunters claimed that the GoFundMe initially had a low amount, as more people became aware of it, the sum and the goal has now soared to more than over $100,000 as of publication. According to Kazen, it's exciting. His mother chimed in to say that the child has found the attention to be a little too much. He still ate, you know, right? Hunter declares. He stated, I was simply trying to make $5,000 and get him a car. The other morning, it has now become a crowd. We had no idea that this would occur. For us, that's the insane part, Kazen Hunter's father, Corey Hunter, tells Today.com. I understand, but the target was $5,000, and people kept giving and donating without giving a thought to the target. Gardner, who talked with Today.com during his morning break at Waffle House, claims that his young friend's efforts were instrumental in getting him to sign a lease on a two-bedroom apartment. I'm about to move into my apartment, Gardner says. We're able to have something more stable. 
I'm hoping to acquire a family car or minivan, but I'll save the remainder for my kids. For my daughters to attend a decent school and live in a good environment, I'm going to save the rest, says Gardner. Whatever I receive is mostly going to my girls in order to ensure that they lead fantastic lives. We'll make sure we'll never struggle again. After the fundraising at the Waffle House, when Victoria Hunter took a photo of Gardner still at work, Gardner and the Hunters also say that they just recently ran into each other. He's a cheerful young man. He has a heart of gold, and I'm grateful he entered my life, adds Gardner. Victoria Hunter says, I think so many people waste a lot of energy whining about what they don't like. But if you just stay upbeat, you'll know that eventually love and positivity will win out. It constantly does. You know the saying, be the change you desire to see in the world. We are aware of both our own potential as individuals and that our children, Corey Hunter continues, love is actually Kazen's middle name. Both of Kazen's parents give a resounding absolutely in response to the question of whether they believe their son is living up to his name. Good in our community is continuous and never ends. As in another story, teen raises $186,000 to help 81-year-old Walmart worker pay off her mortgage and retire. Many people in the United States are forced to continue working much past the traditional retirement age in order to maintain their standard of living. Some of these individuals choose to continue working above the age of retirement because it keeps them busy. Nevertheless, others, such as Nola Carpenter, who's 81 years old, continue to work because they have no choice. Carpenter has been working at Walmart for the past 20 years, which is well past the age at which most people are eligible for retirement, only so that she can afford to keep paying her mortgage. When Devin Bonagura, 19, noticed that Carpenter appeared to be exhausted when she was in the break room of the business, he shared a video of Carpenter on his TikTok account with a text overlay that said, Life shouldn't be this hard, along with a sad face emoji. Carpenter was a co-worker of his. Carpenter can be seen in the video resting his head on a tiny table while seeming fatigued. He's focusing his gaze downward. The video's caption states, I feel terrible. Turns out a lot of other people did too and inspired the adolescent to establish a GoFundMe, which has since completed. In the United States, individuals can begin collecting Social Security retirement benefits at the age of 66 if they were born on or after 1960, or at the age of 67 if they were born before 1960. However, the age of eligibility for reduced benefits for early retirement is 62. The amount of money you'll receive from Social Security is determined in part by the number of years you contribute to the system as an employee. In January 2023, the average Social Security income is projected to be $1,827 a month. Although, while that sum of money is certainly not insignificant, it's not sufficient for a person to live on their own, particularly for those who earn less than the average amount. You also need to take into account the Medicare premiums and any tax withholdings that are required to be deducted from that total. So it should come as no surprise that those over the age of 67 who don't have sufficient savings to support themselves in retirement must continue to be employed. The rise in the cost of living has an effect on people of all ages, especially senior citizens. This elderly Walmart employee is fortunate that the GoFundMe page quickly grew and raised $110,000 in just 24 hours of its existence. But when Bonagura went to offer the money to Carpenter, she expressed her appreciation for the assistance, but she also stressed that she would still need to work until the remaining $60,000 of her mortgage was paid off. Because of this, users decided to donate more money to ensure Carpenter's retirement. The total amount of money donated through the GoFundMe campaign was $186,000, which was more than enough to cover the remaining balance on the woman's mortgage. The grandma claims that she will officially hang up her work boots on the first of the year and that retirement is now in sight for her. Before she finally hangs up her vest for good, she wants to make sure that she has been of assistance to her co-workers during the holiday season. As for Bonagura, he has been placed on administrative leave with pay since he filmed inside himself the store and uploaded the video on TikTok. Although he was not employed at Walmart, 
He did work for a mobile provider that ran its sales operations within the store. Despite this, Bonagour is confident that he made the correct decision and is concentrating his efforts completing on ensuring that Carpenter is able to retire. It's incredible to see what people can achieve when they collaborate on a project. Happy retirement, Nola. I truly hope that you appreciate each and every second of it. Well, friends, this is the end of this incredible story. We hope, as always, it's been to your liking. If you liked it, give us a like. Leave us your valuable comment. Share on your social networks. Subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so that you're always notified when we have a new video. And in this way, you do not miss any of our stories. For now, we only have to invite you to join us in the next one.